Hello everyone, this is the second tutorial from Android GT explaining how you can control your Android device from your Linux, Windows or Mac OS based computer. The reason why you might want to control Android device from your computer is if you want to type faster from a real computer, full scale keyboard or if you work with the computer the entire day and don't have time to check what's happening on your mobile again and again. Using Android screencast is pretty easy. The first step as they mentioned on their website is to install the Android SDK but you don't really need to install the entire Android SDK package you just need ADB tools you can download ADB tools from the link given in the description after downloading the ADB tools package you have to extract it to a folder in my case I extract it to C drive downloads and created a separate folder ADB for it it contains three files the ADB application and two DLL files the next step is to tell Windows where your ADB application is located so that you can use the ADB command from anywhere in the command prompt. To do so, you have to remember the link where you have your ADB application. It must not be in a zip file, it should be extracted to a folder. Remember your ADB application folder location. In my case, it is C downloads ADB. Then go to computer, right click properties advanced system settings environment variables search for path variable click edit and at the end add a semicolon after semicolon add the path to your adb tools i already have it c colon slash download slash adb press ok ok again and close advanced system properties the next thing you need to do is to test if adb is properly installed for testing open command prompt and type ADB. If you get lots of information like I just did, you should assume that ADB is properly installed. Then enable USB debugging on your Android phone by going to settings, applications, development and tick USB debugging option. After you have enabled USB debugging, connect your Android phone to your PC. Then you need to install Java Runtime, the link for which is also included in the description. Then download the Android Screencast JNLP file whose link is also provided in the description and put it on the desktop. Then hold shift, right click and click open command window here. It will open the command window with the working directory as your desktop. Then type java ws space android screencast dot jnlp. Hit enter. Opening Android screencast may take a few minutes. After waiting for a minute or two, you will get a security warning asking you if you really want to run this application. Tick I accept the risk and want to run this application and hit run. A new window will open showing your current Android screen. I can use my mouse to control my Android device from PC itself. If I open notes and create a new note, I can start typing with my computer keyboard. Even if your Android device is rooted and still you cannot type or use mouse to control your Android device, follow the steps that they mention on the website. These are four commands that you need to enter from the command prompt.